I think that she's an extremely present, caring uh, mother. I think she's a very, like, very normal. Um, in, uh, and I think that a lot of people will really relate to um, uh, her particular challenges. I had met Marlo, had just taken a general meeting with her because, uh, you know, I grew up watching um, her on That Girl and so loved her. Tried to convince her to let me do uh, That Girl as a, as a remake, which she is holding out and many people have tried. Um, and, and when this came up I, I, at this meeting, I, I, it just struck me that she would be so interesting to play the mother if she, you know, if, if she liked the role enough. And I just suggested her to to Lisa, and uh, and I'm I'm thrilled that it worked out. I think she is so funny. She's so great in this, and it's just fresh. It's so fresh to have her. Uh, and as w one of the, the the kids in the movie ha had, we were looking at an opportunity for there for, for her to be dancing, and he said, "I'll, I'll dance with a legend." And it just just uh, struck me on how fortunate we are to to have her in this. She's incredible. Uh, it, it just her spirit, her passion, her enthusiasm, her intelligence, um, uh, her strength. Uh, she's just a light that uplifts everybody every day. And the interesting, you know, uh, dynamic for Lisa, the, the great kind of uh, balance that we have with each other is we're both very detail oriented, but she's less of a perfectionist than I am. And so we kind of find it helps to balance each other out. She helps me to let go. And I uh, am always the, uh, you know, the, the eye and the focus of, of keeping it very uh, detailed in, uh, uh, so it's great. I love her. I, this is, it's just, I mean, I wish every project was, was like this experience. Because I l literally am happy to be with her all day, hang out at night, to have dinner, and get up the next day and do it all over again. It'll be sad when this ends. Being a, a mother of only daughters, um, I find that, uh, you know, the, the foundation of, of, uh, that you create from when they're young is really selfishly out of a desire to want them to choose to be around you when they're older. And, uh, and it's an ongoing um, effort that has to be made uh, to have that kind of bond. I, it's, it's, I, I feel extremely fortunate with, with my own daughters that, you know, like my girls have been here and just that, that, that they were even interested to come and be with me. And uh, I look, it's, I, I cherish my relationship. Um, uh, but bond, having a bond is something you earn. It's not something that you can just have. Well, I think it's not just even parents and kids. It's, I mean, uh, I, on one hand, I have an ability to immediately have access to know where they are, to have them check in. Um, but it's also reduced our our connection uh, in a direct way. Even even uh, how much more that we text instead of phone to even hear one another's voice. Um, I always find it interesting, you know, I obviously was around when cell phones really were created and I now look at my kids who have never known a time without somebody walking around with a phone in their hand. And now it's moved into texting and video phones, so we are truly, uh, we have truly become the Jetsons.